Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create this budget tracker in Word. So let's open a new document. I've started with my cursor at the top here but I'm just going to hit the return key twice just to give us a little bit more space. In fact let's just hit that once. Go to insert table, go to insert table and we're going to start off with three columns and 21 rows and press enter. Then we're going to select the table by clicking on the top left here. Go to table layout and just check that it says 0.71 for the row height. You can extend that if you want to, you can select it all and put in 0.9 and press enter. It really is up to you. Then you can also go over here where you can affect the text alignment. Let's just choose align to center left and that will allow all of those cells to be altered. Now I will be splitting this table because I think it makes it far easier when you split a table to manipulate all of the, of the lines. So let's start at the top here. We want a row at the top. So let's just show you the original. So we want this row at the top here for goals and notes, and then a larger cell here for all of the text. So what we can do is just move these lines over, but just select the two rows. So we only want two rows, go to the third row and go up to split table. Now we split that table, we can adjust just these lines of this table here, move those into the middle, in this one we can put goals and in this one we can put notes. Now again we can customise these together by selecting it all, go to table layout, go to centre, go to the home tab and you can increase the size of that font. You can change the font and you can also make it bold, completely up to you. Then we can just press the return key three or four times to allow you to get those notes in. I'm just going to select those two cells again, go to table layout and here I'm going to centre a line. Now you can put as much or as little space here for your goals and notes, it's up to you. We don't want these lines to be seen in the middle. Select those two cells, go to table design and over here is where you'll find everything you need to customise your border lines. You can change the colour, you can change the width, and you can also alter which borders are seen and which borders aren't. So you can select and deselect any of these. So I'm going to deselect the bottom border, which should be this one at the bottom, but it hasn't. There we go, just click on it again. Top border, it hasn't got rid of that top border here. So again, just click on it. Then we want the middle border, the inside horizontal border, to disappear. You can see it hasn't so you need to click again and there you can see now they've both gone. Now you haven't merged the cells and the cells are still there, you've just chosen to take out those border lines. This is the really easy way you can customise your tables. You can also reduce the gap slightly by selecting again these cells and you can just move those lines over to suit the look you're going for. So then let's have a look at the example. The next one we're going to income. So we've got one cell here and then two cells for each of these descriptions. So this is your income section. This is where you'll put all of the income that you have that comes into your household. So we're going to choose the top cell here and we're going to merge it. Go to table layout, merge cells. And then for these three, we're just going to merge this top one and this one and the one below and then the one below that we're going to split the table there we go you see we've now split that table and we've just got this table here let's just show the example so once again we've split it from this table here and then we're going to put in all of this here now I can just select this copy it and paste it across and then what I have done, you may not be able to see, you've got this dark line here, which just gives you that break between the main body of text and the totals here. So to do that, we can select this row, go to table design. We can increase the size 
of this borderline to two and a quarter points. And then we can just go to borders. And because we've selected the cell, we want this top border here to be the one that's selected. So go to top border. And you can see now that that top border has been selected and it's made darker. Here, we slightly change the color of the cell. You can see it's gray as are the goals and notes. The way to do that is just click in your cell, go to shading, and then you can choose any color of your choice. I'm just gonna choose this very light gray. And again, with this cell here, it's already selected, so just click on shading and this one as well. So this is fairly self-explanatory. I'm just going to, I've actually missed out a row. If you do that, just select your table go to table layout and then you have options here, insert above or insert below. Just be very careful that if you choose to insert above or below, and let's say it's got a line here, would duplicate that line. So I want just a normal cell like these two. Go to this cell here and select insert below. And there you can see that it's selected the identical cell and duplicated it. So I'm just going to paste in my text, but obviously you'll have your own text to go in here. Same with goals. It's jumped, so all I need to do is just take out some of these return keys. This one will do the same. There we go. Perfect. So for the next set of cells, let me just bring this across. You can see we've done very similar to the top, but we need to actually divide into more cells. So we need, actually need five columns. So you can have as many or as few of these as you want to. Obviously you'll knock it onto a separate page, but that's absolutely fine. But at the bottom here, it's really important to have your five rows for this summary. So from the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, and then we can just go to table layout and split the table. Now, obviously this is not all gonna fit on one page, so we do need to delete some cells, select them, right click, and go to delete cells and click OK. So for here, we need five cells, so we can divide this one into two. So select this column, go to layout, split cells, and we want two columns, six rows, click OK. Same with this one, split cells, two columns, six rows, click OK. So it's just split those in half. Then we can move this one here, try to line it up with this line here. Same with this one. We can move that one over as well. Then you want your totals over here. And again, just select the set of cells to identify this line and move those over. Perfect. So we're just going to merge these two cells, go to merge and merge these two cells and select merge. And that's purely for the titles. These two again, we can put them in the center. So select them and go to align to center. And then along this row at the bottom here, we can put a total. So again, go to table design. We've already selected a thicker border here and it's already on top border. So just click and you can see that darker top border there. Once again, in the middle here, we can select this column and take out all the borders. You can just select no borders and it will take them all out. Then all you've got to do is select this line here, go to borders and reselect left border. And you can select this row here, go to borders and select right border. So we can zoom in a little bit and you can see we've accidentally selected the darker and thicker lines. So we can reselect it, go back to the original width, which is one, go to borders, select left border, do the same here and select right border. Perfect. Now you can put in all of your text and all of your finances. Then I'm just going to remove these cells, select them, select delete cells, click OK. There we go. And then this cell, I'm just going to go to design, 
shading and just make it that gray shading to both of those headings. And then at the bottom here, let's just select this, go to layout, go to height and point, put point 0.7 in. Sometimes you can adjust your margins to fit this all onto one page. Just go over to rulers. If you can't see rulers, go to view, check rulers, and then just hover between the white and gray section, click and drag those margins down and it'll give you a little bit more room on your page. So here you can see we're aiming for this bottom set here. So we need to merge those two cells there. So select these two cells, table layout, merge cells, and then I'm just gonna paste in the text, make sure they're centered, go to center align, go to table design and select the shading. And then you can just select this column just move that over, then just merge these cells, layout, merge, and go through and do that for all four. Select the bottom row, go to design, borders, increase to two and a quarter points, go to borders, top border. I'm just gonna paste those numbers in so you're able to see, and then just zoom out. So that will give you a rough idea of your overall scheme to put a title in. Just go to insert, word art, click on word art. Let's just move that up to the top here. Put in your text, then go to align, align to center, and it will move that text into the center. If you need to move it up or down, just use your arrow keys on your keyboard, and then we can just zoom out a little bit more and check we're happy with the overall look. Now, if you want to learn how to put equations into these total cells, there is a link to a video that I've done before to explain all of this in the description below. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.